So the key learnings we took out of the project, working particularly with artist Jack Tan, were thinking about accessibility. How do we make a situation working for artists accessible in terms of language, in terms of the responsibility and accountability that organisations have towards the artist and also to think about what artistic thinking means when it's centred within the organisation. So how does an artist's practice change or influence the organisation itself and how do we embed those learnings within the organisation? So we were able to kind of develop a template uh, for a new easy read contract for artists with Jack Tan and we were also able to think about how we do governance of the organisation in a, in a different way that is more using artistic thinking at its core. So an inspiring moment that we had as part of the, the project, as part of the Arts Formation programme was in a board meeting that the artist Jack Tan gave a contribution to, he presented five new understandings of accountability uh, and accounting, drawing on different types of uh, cultural practices from around the world. And it actually led to an extended conversation with the whole of the Board of Trustees about what is our responsibility as a, as a cultural organisation in terms of accounting and how we account, how, beyond the numbers, beyond the financial implications of, of accounting, but really thinking about the human costs and really thinking about the environmental costs of the work that we do and how we report and really communicate that with a broader, not only public, audience but with other stakeholders particularly funders and government bodies who support the organization so this was a very inspiring moment because it was the first time that our board of trustees were able to think about their roles and responsibilities in a very different and expanded way which was brought about by a very simple artistic intervention in terms of how the arts formation project might develop next the focus particularly on civic society interventions, thinking about the role of the arts within democratic processes or thinking about the role of the arts within uh, influencing change uh, and supporting change uh, on smaller levels, bigger levels, activist gestures. I think this is a really valuable next step in thinking about the ways in which digital tools uh, and digital technologies and a digital technological approach to creating might uh, both enable a kind of new understanding of change making, uh, but also deployed in a way that is more about collective action rather than the ways in which technology are designed, which is very much about individuation. So the Artformation Toolkit that we're launching today is a collection of case studies and examples put together by the Varg Future Lab in the Netherlands, by Transmediale and FACT in Liverpool, as well as contributions from Latra in Lesbos. And each case study explores a different set of circumstances in which artists have worked either on institutional change, artist to artist, peer-to-peer -peer support and change or institutional to civic society change and thinking about how these different gestures and case studies enable new forms of new approaches to working and ways in which organisations, artists, individuals, community groups and civic society leaders might be able to adapt these approaches to their own practices and ways of working to kind of imagine new ways moving forward.